Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to our five weekly favorites. First up is a mascara favorite. This I had never tried. Um, I never tried any mascaras from the Lash Princess line by Essence and people worry about them. They're so inexpensive. So I decided to pick up the Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara and this has a curved nylon bristle wand which I love curved wands like this. I feel like they're a little less messy, a little bit easier to grab at the base of your lashes. And this gives me like a really good everyday volume look. I feel like it's a little bit buildable. I really, really enjoy this. I feel like it's not the most voluminous mascara that I've ever used, but on days when, like not like today, when I have an actual eye look on, but on more so casual days, I think this is like the perfect amount of volume, amount of length, um, and it's not irritating. It's I feel black. like that's a lot of volume. You don't really? think so? I did build it up quite a lot today, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's just versatile. You can use it in a lot of different ways. You could do a really light layer of this because it's a pretty thin formula. So I've really been enjoying this, especially for $5. I'm actually kind of blown away. Um, I think my favorite drugstore mascara is still like Lash Paradise, but that one's at least double the price. Mm -hmm. So for $5, this is probably the best one that I've tried and it's really, really good. Okay, I have a skincare favorite, which I recently picked up and I've been using, well, I've been using it a little over a week now and I really like it so far. It's the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with Vitamin C. So we both were on the hunt for like vitamin mm -hmm. C serums that didn't irritate our skin. I feel like every vitamin C I've tried has always done more damage than good for me, but they all usually use L-ascorbic acid mm -hmm. because it's like, you know, has the most has science the most behind data. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is a vitamin C that, um, at least, you know, we work in the beauty industry and a lot of people are starting to formulate with it. And I'm probably going to say this wrong, but it's tetrahexyldexyl ascorbate. THD. Yeah, THD. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, you know, known to be, I think, a little, like, not safer for sensitive mm -hmm. skin, but a little less gentle or a little more gentle than L ascorbic acid. And so I saw that that was like the third ingredient in here. And then there's also, there is dimethicone in here if you don't like silicones or if your skin doesn't get along with it, I would avoid. Um, but then there's a lot of other good things in here. Like there's a ceramide, um, a peptide. Ferulic acid. Yeah, ferulic acid, beta glucan. There's just a lot of good things in here. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that out. And I never purchased Apollo's Choice mm -hmm. product. They did send us their cleansing bomb. Yeah. And we've really been liking that. So I've just been really interested in the brand and so far I really like it. I feel like a lot of people said that this is like their winter serum for vitamin C because it's like pretty hydrating and I will admit it goes on almost borderline greasy like where you're like oh this is like really moisturizing but for my skin it actually soaks into my skin like completely. And then it doesn't even leave like a sheen. It leaves just like a natural finish. So makeup goes on top flawlessly, makeup and sunscreen. And that's probably what I love about it the most is that it's so easy to layer things on top and even underneath. Like it just gets along with a lot of products. So, so far I really love this. I think it's a little too early to evaluate. I think vitamin C you're supposed to use like at least for 30 days before you really see results. But so far I think I do think my skin has been looking like brighter and more mm -hmm. even. Okay, this is truly a random favorite and I can't bring it over here, but um, my coworker was telling me about these little like webcam covers that you can get for your computer and it's literally like a really tiny piece and it has a sticky backing and you basically just like adhere it over the little like circle where your webcam is on your laptop. It's a camera, right? Yeah. Like a, the computer cover. camera. The computer camera. Yeah. And it just has this little slider that like slides back and forth. It's black so it like blends in with the border on your computer. Like you can really barely see it. They comes in a pack of two on Amazon, so I use one for my work computer, one for my personal, and I love them, particularly because sometimes, you know, like Zoom has a mind of its own, and if you don't want to be on camera, then all of a sudden you're on camera, yeah. like we've all been there, and it's truly horrifying. So I love it for that reason, like I just always have it shut, and then if I need to be on camera, I'll open it up, and you know, I feel like it's just safer. It's always safer to like have something blocking that camera. So I really love them. I had never known that they existed until she told me and she made it sound like everyone knew and I was like, I had no idea that this was a thing and now I'm like obsessed. So I wanted to recommend it in case I wasn't the only one that had no idea this was a thing. They're really affordable, very small and like will not make your computer ugly in any way. They're just practical. Okay, and we have a recipe that I, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you have seen us post about this at least five times. 
But we've made, made it's the thing we've made the most. I think we've made it seven times yeah. now. Um, and we love it so much, but we realized we hadn't really talked about it here, or at least we don't believe we have. And it's the, no, we have, haven't really? we? Well, whatever, we made it yesterday, so we're gonna put it in this week's favorite too. But it's the John and Vinny's, pen, is it, what is it called? Fusili Alla Vodka. Fusili Alla Vodka with pasta. basil and parm. Yeah, with basil and parm. So John and Vinny's is a really popular restaurant here in Los Angeles, and I think their most popular pasta is the spicy Fusili mm -hmm. Alla Vodka. So, I think that like John and Vinny wrote the recipe for Bon Appetit, it kind of yeah, seems. Yeah, that's what I And was they posted thinking. it online, and I mean, the John and Vinny's, like, they make their own fusilli, so yeah. that's what makes it, like, really special. But this recipe is, honest to God, like, so easy for how impressive it is. Yes, I think it's the... It, I actually know for sure. I feel like out of all the pastas we made, this one would be the most people would be like, oh, where did you buy this? Or, like, where did you get this? Like, it tastes like takeout pasta. Yeah, but it is the easiest one we've made. Yes. Out of all the pasta recipes we made from Bon Appetit, we made one last week from New York Times. I'll link down below. We have a blog post mm -hmm. where I track all of the Bon Appetit recipes we've ever made and like the rating and like modifications we've made. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. Um, this one's obviously on there along with other pastas that we've made from them, but this is our favorite. Yes. And last night we made it and we didn't have a shallot and it was still really good. And because of that, like cutting out that step, we made it in like 20 minutes. It's so quick. And you guys, it looks like you've literally got it from a restaurant. Yes. It's shocking. It's and shocking. we didn't have basil to put on top. We actually only made it with basil once, mm -hmm. I think. Um, because that step, it does add flavor, but like if you don't have basil on hand, which I think Mike has basil back there. Yeah. We, should, we probably have basil in our backyard. Yeah. We're just like too lazy to go look. Mm -hmm. But it's 10 out of 10 fantastic. A crowd pleaser. If you need to make a pasta for any reason for a family get together, make this pasta. For sure. Okay, and our last item is also a food. Yes. And do you want to talk about you love them more than me? Sure. You don't like it? No, I do. I do. Okay, so we recently tried the Mocha Kit Kats. And disclaimer here, Kit Kats are not even close to my favorite candy bar. Are they yours? Oh, Kit Kats. You like them more than me. I love them. Tiny yeah. likes them a lot too. I, I love, love the them. wafer crisp. Like, for a fun fact, when we were younger, the crispy M&Ms were my favorite for a similar reason. And then reason. remember, I was like actually addicted to Butterfinger Crisp. Oh yeah, those were so good. <laughs> Another too. thing we love it's like that, that wafer crisp is just oh, yeah. perfect. I the Butterfinger Crisp w will continue to be my like all-time favorite, it's but so good. they don't make them anymore. I don't think so. Anywho, the Kit Kat Mocha flavor is so good. In my opinion, it's better than a normal Kit Kat. It just offers like the perfect amount of coffee flavor without being overpowering or too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's just like the perfect candy bar. I feel like it's now one of my new go-tos. I hope it's not a limited edition thing, but I think they've been around for a while. So I don't mm -hmm. think it's limited edition. We found it at Target. I'll link it below. Fantastic. Cannot go to Target and not get one anymore. They're really good. They're so good. Okay, and that's everything for this week. I feel like we zoomed through this video, but we hope you guys had a great week mm -hmm. and we'll see you next week.